So this is elementary algebra, and this lesson is 2.6, and it's called Applications. They've uh, changed the name of a chapter to Applications because story problems, dun dun dun, sounds awful. But that's what this is. This is a section on story problems, dun dun dun. Anyway, they aren't so absolutely terrible, but they just take a long time to kind of figure out how they work. So what we're going to do is we're going to practice a bunch of story problems, dun dun dun, and uh, hopefully get you to a point where you can actually solve some of these. So here we go. We're going to start with the section of examples, let's see, one and two that have to do with number problems. So we'll start with example one. It says the sum of twice a number. Okay, so one of the key things when you're doing story problems is to find out um, what you know the least about and make that your variable or your x or your unknown or what you're trying to find. So, the sum of twice a number. We know nothing about what a number is, so let's call a number x. So, the sum of twice a number, so the sum of twice a number and 3 and 3. That is the sum of twice a number and 3. So one of the key things is knowing uh, what the word sum means. You know it's the answer to an addition problem. And what is the sum? Is 3, or is 7. Um, so the sum of twice a number and 3 is 7. Is is an equal sign. And at this point we just use our algebra skills Addition skills are lacking, and we get 2 then for our answer. Okay, so let's jump to example number 2. It says, one number is three times more than twice another. What do we know the least about? We've got two things, one number and three or more than twice another. Well, we do know something about one number. It's three more than twice the other one. It's the other one we don't know anything about. So let's see what we've got here. Um, we have a number that's three more than twice another. So our other number, the one we're looking for, is three more than twice another. So that's one number. And the other number is x because it says it's three more than twice another. So here's one number, the other number is, is three more than twice another. So we have this number and we have this number. Okay, they're not equal to each other, but what does it say? If we take this number and add it to this number, we get 18. So if we take 2x plus x, we get 3x. And then we subtract 3 from both sides, divide by 3, and we get 5. So that's one of our numbers. Our other number is going to be taking 5 and plugging it in there. And getting 13. And then when you add 13 and 15 or 5 together, you get 18. Alright, so age problems. Age problems can be um, a little tricky. Just like you're probably thinking the one we just did was pretty tricky, but we'll uh, try to keep them as simple as we can. So what I like to do for example three is I like to make little charts. And it looks like they have a chart there in the book. So we've got two guys. We've got Bill and we've got Tom. So Bill is six years older than Tom. So right now, Bill is six years older than Tom. So if Tom is X, then Bill is six plus X. Okay, because we know the least bit of information about Tom. We know Bill is six years older than Tom, so at least we know something about Bill. He's six years older, but we know nothing about Tom's age. All right, three years ago. So in a, another column, we'll write three years ago because they're going to be looking at some things there. Three years ago, Bill's age was four times Tom's age. 
So three years ago, Bill's age was four times Tom's age. So how old was Bill three years ago? Well, if he's x plus 6 now, three years ago, he would have been x plus 6 minus 3 years, right? That would have been three years ago. And Tom's age three years ago would be whatever age he was minus 3. So let's just throw some numbers in here for the heck of it. Let's say that Tom is 20 and Bill is 26, just so we have some numbers to work off of, because Bill is 6 years older. Okay, three years ago... Bill was 26 minus 3 years, so he was 23, and Tom was 20 minus 3 as well, so he was 17. So that's what these variables represent. Since we don't know the numbers, I mean, I just made up these numbers here, um, we just, we have to use um, letters in order to get there. Oh, that's supposed to be a, a eraser, and it wasn't erasing. There we go. All right, so that's what we have three years ago. So instead of writing um, x plus 6 minus 3, let's change that to, let's see, 6 minus 3 is 3, x plus 3. So x plus 3. So three years ago, that's how old they were. What else does it say? Three years ago, Bill's age was four times Tom's age. So three years ago, this guy right here was four times as old as this guy. So he was four times as old. So if I want to make him equal to Tom's age, I'm going to have to take Tom's age, multiply it by four. Because this age is four times this. So if I want him to be equal, I'm going to have to take four times this in order to make him equal. And I know that sounds weird. He's already four times. I'm trying to make him four times. He's four times as old as him. To make him equal, I have to take this him times four times. Okay, so him times four times. Uh, okay, that gives me... Add 12. Add 12. So I have x plus 15 equals 4x. I'm going to take subtract my x's, and I have 15 equals 3x, divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals 15 over 3, or 5. So, Tom is 5 eight years old now, and Bill is 11 right now. Okay? And that would be example number 3.